three people have been charged with murder after a homicide in Greenville County back in September. And today, a grieving sister screamed out in court as one of those suspects made her first court appearance. As you can imagine, that family has every right to be upset looking at the person accused of killing their loved one. That's the sister of 25 year old Eddie Mike Mike Thomas. She was carried out after court after coming face to face with the accused killer. He's just one of three accused killers here. Her name is Candace Robinson. Thomas's family says it's been an emotional ride just waiting for justice in this case. And back on the morning of September 6th, 2018, Greenville County, County deputies found Thomas shot to death in the middle of Mill Street there in Taylor's. On Wednesday, a little more than eight months later, they announced the arrest of three suspects in this case. Now, these are the three charged with murder. You have Candace Robinson on the far right. She's in jail in Greenville County. And then those two cousins, DeVaggio Talley and Jonathan Talley, they're locked up in Spartanburg County right now on unrelated charges. And we were there for the emotional hearing today as a judge denied Robinson's bond in Greenville County. Ashley Minnelli was in court and has more. Speaking directly to her son's accused killer. Eight months at two days with her daughter by her side. You could feel the pain in Natasha Thomas Pugh's voice. You're a sad individual and you could see it as her daughter broke down in court. You take her out. Take her out. For the first time Thursday morning, the family of Eddie Mike Mike Thomas came face to face with one of three suspects accused of shooting him on Mill Street. Candace Robinson. Deputies discover Thomas's body in the middle of the road on the morning of September 6th. We relived that Thursday every Thursday. A judge denied bond for Robinson. Deputies say she and two cousins, Jonathan and DeVaggio Talley, lured Thomas into a car the night he died. When he tried to get out and run, deputies say they each shot him. They're all charged with his murder. It has devastated our family. My son was not a perfect child by no means, but for you to have Jumped, he jumped out the car and ran, trying to get away from them, and they shot him. For months, his family, including his three young children and their mother, have lived life not knowing who killed Thomas. Natasha says her son was friends with the Tallies, but she doesn't know Robinson. Seeing her in court, she says, was difficult to process. She enjoyed her Christmas, and she enjoyed her New Year. She didn't see my son did not get to see his first son be born. He was not at his second daughter's first birthday. He won't see nothing. Now that three people are locked up, charged with his murder, Natasha says a weight has been lifted. I feel a, a, a sense of, how can I put it, calmness about it. I do, I, I, yeah, there's been a, a cloud that's been moved. But as that dark cloud over her family moves on, she says she's still piecing together exactly what happened to her son. He told me in a dream, and I believe in dreams, he said, Mama, be still and know because the dominoes are going to start falling and they fell yesterday. In Greenville County, Ashley Minnelli, Fox Carolina News. The family is planning a balloon release on Saturday in Thomas's honor on Mill Street, where he was gunned down. We are still waiting to learn when the Tally Cousins will be brought back to Greenville to officially be charged with murder. When that happens, we'll let you know.